The cheers could not be louder. The hugs could not be tighter. All of us were, were saved and spared from tragedy. As many Haitian families deal with the aftermath of the catastrophic earthquake, this St. John's Church is celebrating 10 stories of survival. It's an amazing miracle uh, that God was able to keep us at all in safe positions. I'm glad to be back. Doug Haviland and Wade Williams were just two of the men from Pilgrim United Methodist Church who were serving a missions trip in Haiti when the earthquake hit. We were on the outskirts of town and uh, the truck started shaking, bouncing three foot side to side and uh, it was an unexplainable feeling, something I'll I never wish uh, to feel again. We see this, all the people running and screaming and, and they were just frantic. The cloud of dust was just rolling up from the city and we knew right then that something drastically had happened. Their family spent the next three days wondering where they were and if they had survived. My mom called and said there had been an earthquake in Haiti and um, I just kind of stood out in the hall and processed it for a minute. Your first reaction is really disbelief. I, I mean. What do you do? But all 10 managed to walk away without a scratch. And even more than that, they were able to make it home to their families sooner rather than later. I'm just glad that he's back home. Home with their families, their friends, and their mission brothers, who together have formed a bond through a devastating tragedy. In St. John's, Jessica Mackey, 6 News. It's been more than five days since the earthquake, and amazingly, rescuers are pulling people out alive. It's an effort that's had great success, yet thousands of Haitians are still in desperate need of food, water, and medical attention.